this solution. So I've asked him just to share a little more of the insight of what happened at that moment. Jim. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much. Um, it's a, it's a, a huge night for us in Florida. But 55 years ago, uh, the Mustang brought muscle and design to the masses. And uh, the Mustang was, was that first set of keys for many of us. Uh, first road trip, first date for some of us. Uh, it was really an emotional product. Uh, exhilarating, yeah, it had power and could do burnouts, but it looked great too. And, and whether it was the drop top or the fastback, everyone in the forward knows what a Mustang is. Uh, and it just always looked great. Um, with Mustang, Ford really did change a lot in our industry. And 55 years later, tonight, there's a new Mustang joining the state. Um, the all new, all electric Ford Mustang Hockey. Uh, before you wanted to make this Mustang, I remember you laboring over this. I think when we were all together, we all looked at each other and said, is that first design execution good enough? And no. you said, we were like, no. But then the question becomes, what is good enough? And we really decided on emotion. And you know, we all knew uh, that we were falling in love with the, the iconic products like Bronco. And we thought, if you want to modernize Ford, what's a better product to start with, like Mustang? So we said, let's try, let's try to create an electric Mustang. And a leadership moment like this, you know, it's you either throw them all in or you, you kind of wait for someone to tell you. So I, again, I want to thank Jim for this because those who think this should be a Mustang, remember the consideration we put into this. We were very careful. And it starts with Bill Ford. This is a gentleman who's owned Mustangs, as you'll hear later tonight. 35 of them, I think he still has. And uh, he, he gave us the endorsement. He said, I'm not sure where I want to go with this, but go after it. And so we were really happy, the three of us, when we started to see the, the idea emerge here. So I hope, you, I hope you feel that way after we go through the introduction. Great. Well, I hope everyone has a great night. Thank you very much. We're going to get, get on with the show now, Danny. We'll let you come back. in a big way. So we have a couple of uh, guests. I mentioned we're going to have some special guests this evening. One of those uh, is taking the stage actually over the other stage right now. That is the Detroit Youth Choir. Has anybody heard the Detroit Youth Choir before? Incredible. Now they get set up. Uh, it's no secret. Detroit's had uh, some tough years. But those who are lucky enough to call Detroit home are fiercely proud of it. They work hard to bring the city back. And I'm telling you, no one embodies that spirit better than uh, the Detroit Youth Choir. By the way, they were household names for the last couple months. They didn't even catch them on America's Got Talent. Did you vote for him? I'm going to put you on the spot. He did. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. They were on America's Got Talent. They're all over the place. If you have not seen them, if you've not seen them, you are in for a treat. They are absolutely incredible. Uh, the reason, part of the reason that we are affiliated with the Detroit Youth Choir, the Ford Fund, is proud to support the Detroit Youth Choir through long-term partnership and by giving scholarships to each member for their collegiate education. So I actually want to toss it over real quick. Their artistic director, Anthony White, and music director, Donnell Mose, there with us this evening. Anthony, this is a big night. You guys just flew into Detroit. You're just here for 48 hours. How are you guys feeling? Hey, we are so, 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 so excited to be a part of this event. It's, a, it's like an eye opener for us. You know, we just did Vegas, and now we're here in LA. Hey, what more can you ask for? <laughs> Fair enough. Well, how about this? Uh, Donnell, it's a big night. Special night. Do you have a special arrangement planned for us this evening? We sure do. We put a little taste of Detroit in it. Okay, there we go. Anybody from Detroit in this room? Detroit? Representing very strong. There we go. Uh, I've got one more question. You guys have had a big year. You just mentioned Vegas. I know we've got America's Got Talent. What's been the most exhilarating moment of the year for the Detroit Youth Choir? Well, you know America's Got Talent. Wonderful. Yeah, we're just so happy and privileged to be here with Ford on tonight. 
There we go. It's like somebody coached him one answer to say that was perfect. Well done, my friend. Uh, you know what, actually, because we're all set to do this, we have a few, few minutes left. Can we go ahead and actually get a preview? Would you guys like to see a little preview from the truck park before we go live? We need a little warm-up, fellas? You all that? Well, you know, I never thought you would ask. So look, what are we going to do down there? Let's show them what we got. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the Detroit Youth Choir.
signals for us.
50 seconds. And I know what you're thinking. Does the E in Mustang Mach E stand for Elba? No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't actually. But I do, I do have some Ford in my blood. Some of you might know this or not, but I used to work for Ford for two years. I, uh, I worked on the assembly line at Dagenham, East London. It's in my blood. Uh, this is while I was dreaming of being an actor. I did the night shift. I hated the night shift. I ain't gonna lie. But the reason I worked there is because my dad worked there for 25 years. And I wanted to follow his footsteps. And, and uh, my dad didn't want me to be a broke actor. My dad I loved his job, he brought it home with him, it was our community, we drove Fords, it wasn't just a job to him or me, it was part of our lives. So I always, and still do, feel connected to the Ford family, but I love the Mustang, <laughs> I love the Mustang. So the, the reason that I'm here today is to help celebrate a magic moment that has been 55 years and 10 million cars in the making. For me, this brings this moment full circle. The Empire State. It would become the car of the decade. The ultimate sports car. Only much we show wins in a Mustang car. Super high. <laughs> 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 
celebrating its 100 year anniversary. The 2007 Shelby GT 500. Time we unveil the Mustang, the stakes are raised. Just like it was back in 1964. Fifty years of pure passion. Justin has become the most Instagram car in the world. Mustang is now the best-selling sports car in the world. Everyone is wondering, what's next for Mustang?
It's absolutely crazy. Alright, Alan, this has been fun. But, uh, I think it's my turn to dress it. This is in your mom's SUV. It's actually really impressive. What's the feel like in the wheel? The braking, the turning in, everything was really nice. Yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> That's the first time I've ever actually driven an electric car. Really? Really? Yeah. It's pretty cool. <laughs> My cloud connectivity. Every new Ford today it has fast 4G modems. And so does that new Mach E. And Mach E is our smartest sport yet. It listens and observes to make helpful suggestions at the right time and place. Pretty cool, huh? This is a common problem. When the design's not right, consumers will franken the customer insight to give drivers a simpler, more friendly system to use on the move. It, it, it does include touch screens and voice commands and this cool single knob. It's not just an between the Hussein Dr. from the team who developed this technology. I want to tell you how proud I am of Hussein, Phil Mason, and a lot of other people in the room tonight. So the was for a visually appealing modern interface, but also intuitive. It starts with a large touchscreen down to find out everything is easy to see. This is a new interface, what we would call a steering wheel in case you don't want your eyes to come off the road for key driver information. We'll look at where to place each experience. Cluster, steering wheel controls, voice, and the center display from a holistic perspective. We know people want their driver information in front of them, so we kept it there, unlike others. But people also <laughs> said they prefer interacting with features on a touch screen. So we took a lot of that content from the cluster that customers interact with and moved it into the center display. And this way from your vehicle controls to actually your uh, vehicle controls within your, your vehicle. And it looks, it looks like you're uh, like in the fourth quarter. Got the plate. It's rocking yesterday. Go uh, blue. <laughs> you see, you display what you want while still having Quick access to your applications. And a single get to know you. It will have your profile and preferences as you approach the vehicle through phone as a key or your key. And by opting in, it will learn your habits and provide you with suggestions. For example, Jen, it recognizes that you call your wife and she gets the same adaptive experience. It's her profile and her preferences. You know, the people who work with me know that I, I talk about this will enable exciting new cloud-connected experiences. For example, for our drivers, our system also has live charging data, and it will seamlessly add charging stations to your route to ensure you can reach your destination. This would be something she likes because she doesn't want to take her hands off the wheel the voice system wakes up, and then you can give it a command. Why don't we give it a try? Okay, Ford. Yeah. Okay, Ford. How about some coffee along the way? It's going to have a big say in how this vehicle improves. And they wouldn't have to wait to purchase a newer model to do these improvements. Using the cloud and how we build the systems in the vehicle, the RBA process thank you. Incredible experience. This is an amazing product.
the new screen and the next generation sync, it's simple and intuitive. And its ability to adapt to you, I think is going to be one of the features that makes driving so much more personal. All with great connectivity that delivers you the freshest data and continuous improvements. You know at Ford, we believe that technology should serve people, not the other way around. Okay, so now let's go to Ted Canis over here to simple and easy. Wherever you're going, it starts to work with you before you get in the driver's seat. No more hunting for your keys. With Ford Pass, your smartphone is your key. Imagine, you're leaving your office at the end of a hot summer day or a cold winter one, but you can't remember where you parked. Ford Pass can locate your vehicle, Check your charge status before you get to the door. By the time you get there, you're ready to go. The Mach-E delivered a targeted EPA range of over 300 miles. That makes your commute worry-free with plenty. Now you're thinking electric vehicles aren't built for all four seasons. A myth. The Mach-E is extreme weather tested. Not only does it handle well, but in deep snow, the feedback from the throttle is immediate in a way that only a battery can be. Not sure about electric vehicle because it means hunting for a charging station? Another myth. 80% of charging is done at home. We will give you a Ford mobile charger you can use to charge overnight. Maybe you have free charging at the office. The mach is smart. It knows to charge just enough at home so you can get to work and charge. And around town, DC fast charging delivers up to 47 miles in 10 minutes. Yet another myth is that there are no charging stations. They just don't have signs like gas stations. With the largest network of any automaker, you will easily find chargers. And then, you've also got the freedom to roam. The Mach-E is cloud connected, so you'll always see the latest chargers added to the network. And thanks to our relationship with some great partners, Mach-E owners have access to the Ford Pass charging network with more than 12,000 stations in North America and growing. Weekend warrior excursion, unscheduled detour, Ford Pass helps you to find the best places to charge and seamlessly pay for it. Ford Pass is there for you in Europe as well. We are a founding partner in Ionity and will provide you with membership access to their network of more than 400 high-speed charging stations, as well as thousands more chargers from other partners across the continent. And with secure over-the-air software updates, you'll be able to upgrade your mod key over time with the latest product and performance enhancements, including hands-free driving capability. That is what hack-free experience feels like. Pretty good. The all-electric lifestyle has never been easier thanks to Ford. Now, let's take a look at how we brought the mach -E experience to the world. forget the first time my father brought home the Mustang. I just remember thinking it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Mustang means driving really fast on the highway. It's into some really loud music. It's so powerful. It's a battle. It's freedom. It's independence. It's something that emotionally comes from the heart. It's a magical feeling. It's part of your life. We needed to do something that was going to be state of the art, cutting edge, and exciting. A four door SUV electric. Are you guys crazy? To take your most cherished idea and run it to electrification, it's unheard of. It was exhilarating, but it also scared the shit out of me. The heart of the company is on trial here. And this is where the magic happens. This is the spirit of Ford. You guys need to create a new icon. This could be something that you make. We have to do the product. It's got to be fun to drive. That was awesome. It's got to be eye-catching. Most of all, it's got to go like hell. This is the future. Feel free transportation with iconic design. I said it too. This is the Mustang. They better drive like awesome.
we are bringing performance and environment friendliness to one vehicle in a way that we've never been able to do before. This is an incredible Mustang. special and uh, we've heard the new addition to the Mustang family is a sleek four-door version. How did that come about? Well, that's a really important point because the Mach E is a new family member. Uh, we're always going to make the Mustang car that everybody loves and this doesn't replace that. But at some point though, even the most rebellious Mustang lovers move into a different phase of life. But you don't have to give up your Mustang. We have kids. Well, we have kids who are just decide that they need a little more room, but this this one fits the whole family and everything you want to put into it. Now you said earlier that Mustang re represents fast, fun, and freedom. Does the Mark E stand up to that? Yeah, sure it does. I mean, it's really fast. Uh, it's got instant torque and instant power. It goes zero to sixty in under four seconds. But it's also really fun. I mean, that's the other thing. You know, it's and. Also, the entirely new connected experience uh, that you just saw a minute ago, that's fabulous. Uh, and you're about to see what makes it a Mustang on the outside. Yeah. Your friends will, uh, I think, instantly recognize it as a Mustang, one with enough space and power to do whatever you want and wherever you want. And talk to me about the freedom part. Because, you know, most people wonder about the range of an electric car. How far can it travel on a full battery? Well, it's got a 300 mile range, uh, and that's freedom from the gas pump, but frankly, it's also freedom from oil changes. Right. So, creating this Mustang was a real journey, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it really was a journey, and I'm so proud of all the teams at Ford for creating the Mach-E. The design, the engineering, the software, and hardware teams, they all pushed the limits of what was possible. And then our Ford Performance team got involved, and they pushed even further. Yeah. They created something that I think is really incredible. Yeah. And so, you know, we're talking about, you know, the Ford's first all-electric vehicle. And, you know, they say the best ideas come from Silicon Valley, right? But it was Detroit who put the wheels <laughs> in the So, do we think that Detroit can change the world again? Oh, absolutely we do. And this car is proof of that. It's fast, it's all-electric, it has amazing user experience. Now you mentioned how excited it was the first time you ever saw a Mustang. I mean, are you, are you ready, really, really ready to show the marquee for the first time? Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait. Let's, let's show the world. All right. All right. So here to give a little help, please make some noise for the Detroit Youth Choir.
Let's hear it for the Detroit Choir. That was fantastic. Now, at the first auto show in Detroit, Henry Ford said he was working on something that would strike like four. I feel like lightning just struck twice. We've sold more than 10 million Mustangs, and everybody has a Mustang story. I remember seeing my first Mustang as a child in Vietnam. My dream was to own one someday. Little did I know at that time that I would have the chance to serve as the chief engineer on the fifth generation of this iconic product. And now, I'm fortunate enough to have the opportunity to help write the next chapter of this story vehicle. It's been a long time coming. Please join me in welcoming the Maki, -E, the latest addition to the Mustang stable. Isn't it gorgeous? With its powerful stance, sculpted body side, and fast roof line, Maki -E is instantly recognizable as a Mustang. We've completely redesigned this vehicle around electric propulsion to deliver a sleek exterior and a spacious interior. Inside, Mach-E signals the future with a modern cockpit while offering exceptional roominess. There's plenty of room for five passengers, as you saw earlier when I gave Ken Block and his crew a ride. There's also room for cargo, thanks to our flat load floor, flexible and configurable seating, and an innovative trunk front end of the vehicle that could hold enough luggage for a weekend getaway. Maki delivers incredible power, instant torque, and agile handling. It feels so planted thanks to a lower center of gravity than most SUVs, and it offers the confidence in all weather with rear-wheel drive and responsive all-wheel drive. Maki -E flatters the novice and rewards the expert driver, a hallmark of Mustang. With a targeted EPA range of 300 miles, it takes you wherever you want to go. All of that with zero gas emissions. This vehicle benefits from our human-centered design approach. Your Maki -E doesn't just perform, it knows you, and it continuously adapts to your habits. The next generation SYNC intelligent voice activated system makes it seamless to access all of the information you want, when you want it. We really believe that Maki -E won't just set the pace for Ford's electric vehicles, it'll set the pace for all vehicles. Now, if you like what you see tonight, you can register your interest on our website, which will open at the end of this event. After this kind of news, it seems like it should be a wrap, doesn't it? But, it wouldn't be a Mustang reveal without a Mustang GT. So, we thought we would take advantage of our venue here, the Jet Center, and have some serious performance training. Have a look for yourselves. Let's roll the film.